Um, Father Geetzen was very good, uh, our speech uh, a teacher. He was very strict. Uh, he made us do a lot of extra work, but I can remember the first day he was in the class, and we, he was giving us words. And he said, it's not roof, it's roof. And this is the way he was all the time, making you go gutturally into your stomach and up your diaphragm and out. That was his way of teaching. So many years later, something came up in my life after I left, and I sent him a letter. I thanked him because I was doing some public speaking around, and uh, I could talk to pe 200 people in a room. Not a problem. So I took the time to send him a note. He sent a note back thanking me. So um, uh, I, I liked Father uh, Geetzen. I respected him a lot, as you can tell. I had Father Lee for sociology and economics. Uh, his class was so different from the classes in Latin, you know, the textbooks and stuff. To be able to go into the social sciences, sociology, and economics. I, I really like the sociology because it, it, it extended my understanding of all these different systems and family systems and things that I never knew anything about. Yeah. So uh, Father Lee, Father Lugger Lee, they called him, and um, uh, he, he was very good. It was tough. I, f I found St. Mary's tough, uh, especially with the Latin textbooks, and uh, uh, it was just a lot for me. I mean, I was a good student. I knew how to study, but uh, there were a lot of guys around me who just, uh, uh, they went to class and they had it. It stuck up here, and I, I, I struggled, but I did okay. And... Um, uh, I think Addison Wright was also a, a scripture teacher. I had a little bit of a problem. Uh, I was working on a term paper and doing a lot of stuff here, and I, I, um, I didn't do well on an exam. I got a 58. And um, so I had to repeat the exam at the same time I was studying for the second semester. So it was a big burden. And the highest mark I could get on the first exam was a 60. So there wasn't a lot of motivation to study, but I did. The only, the only regret I had was that I didn't go and see him. It would have been smarter for me to knock on his door and say, Father, I apologize that I didn't do well, and find out what he was really thinking, and maybe I could have worked something out. Mm -hmm. It bothered me for a long time. I stayed. I came to Roland Park. Um, but I realized shortly thereafter that it was not his problem or his fault. It was my fault. And that made it better. I, I didn't dislike him or I, I just, it was me.